Go team. Southward. What we have, you're gonna hit the warm up that's on the board, okay? Get warm, get loose. Then we're gonna spend some time moving through um, the movements that are in the, the workout today. So the movements that we have is the double under, the V up, a rushing kettlebell swing, and then a burpee, okay? So as always with the double under, slow down and relax, okay? Just chill out, stop tensing up, stop shrugging your shoulders, stop taking your arms out real way. Just chill out, don't let it skip the rope, okay? Don't let it frustrate you. So the idea is, what I want to see you guys starting off with is tall, slow, exaggerated single skips, right? So, let's relax the shoulders, okay? And then the whip comes from the wrist, not big elbow bends, okay? If you start bending your elbow, you can see that my handles go up and down crazy, right? Whereas if I just whip my wrist, the handle only goes up less than an inch, right? So the idea is tall and slow, single skips. Nice and smooth, nothing crazy. Now, if I want to um, go for a double on there, I just have to um, double the speed of the rope, not the speed of my jump, okay, if that makes sense. So try and stay tall and slow with the jump, um, and the arms relax, and it's just a whip of the wrist, right? So if we do those penguin taps, we all love, jump off the floor, make sure you can clearly tap yourself twice on the legs before we hit the floor. Now you can see that just comes from slight whip of my wrist, not big bend of the elbow, right? So, take that theory, apply it to the rope. Now get yourself in a rhythm of tall, slow singles before we track. So get yourself moving, and then when you've got that rhythm, cool and comfy with it, then we're gonna try that double under, okay? Now you can see, when I go for my double, I don't get ready, I don't tense up, but wait, 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 and I jump a tiny bit off the floor, I shrug my shoulders, my arms come out, I whip my elbows. The disaster, right? Chill out, slow down, just relax, okay? The only thing that needs to change is the whip of the wrist. So it's single, 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 double, right? Sound effect, optional. All from the wrist. Just relax, okay? Now, in the workout, there's heaps of reps for you to, to practice with, right? 180, 60, 40, 20. Now, if we are gonna go um, singles for this, I wanna see those tall and slow singles. Now, maybe every 10th rep, 20th rep, you can try that double under, okay? If you wanna make it a little bit more intense, if we've got them on and off, go every 10th, every 5th. Every second one, double single, double single, double single, that type of thing, right? And um, play a lot with it. Now, if we are more confident with a double under, your job today is to play about with the, the change in speeds of double unders, okay? Make it a little bit more efficient. The big set, the 100, let's see if we can slow those down a bit, kind of manage our breathing, save our shoulders and stuff, our ankles, our calves a little bit. And over the big sets, maybe the, the 100, the 80, and the 60 potentially. And then when we get into the 40 and 20, can we tighten that up a little bit and can we move a little bit faster? So we want to eventually get to the point where we choose the cadence, right? So, really exaggerated ones for the 100, again into the 40s. I have the ability up and slow down okay so play about with that so if you only have one speed and it's that 10 stuck oh, as fast as I can we're gonna struggle right because there's a lot of reps never getting a chance to breathe heart rate shoots to the roof shoulders blow off calves fall off so that's that right play about with it relax can we go slow and can we go fast spend time in the, the warm-up to see how slow you can do double unders and how fast you can do double unders right try to learn that ability to do both <coughs> And then our V-ups. So our V-up, and um, all I need to see, ideally, every rep starts with the heels off the floor, shoulders off the floor, we fold in half, we touch at the top, and we move through. If you're anything like me, those, uh, those start tucking into these guys. Every single rep, okay? That's fine, there's a lot of reps, just chip through it. That's an absolute disaster. Get yourself into the ball, back out again, and then that way. We're still using the same muscle group, um, 
just a bit less intense, right? Let's try that out, <clears throat> play above them, and uh, loosen off the, the hip flexors before we start as well, okay? Because that might be something that tightens up um, this, this volume of beers. <clears throat> so the first part, 180, 60, 40, 20, of double unders for the 50, 40, 30, 20, 10 of V ups. Then, as soon as you finish, you're going to rest three minutes, and then what we have is a 21, 59, going as fast as we possibly can, of a Russian kettlebell swing and a burp. Okay? So the Russian kettlebell swing, all I need to see is that flat footed setup, slight bend of knees, big hinge of the hips to hike the kettlebell back, fire the hips through. And the handle is going to come roughly to eye level. Now remember to swing, so to hinge of the hips, I'm here every single time. I'm not here, I'm not squatting every rep. Okay, make sure we're hinging by sending the bum back, firing the hips through. Russian swing, don't have to go overhead, we're just coming to eye level. Your burpee, get yourself to the floor, get back to your feet little jump at the top, any combination of a two footed jump back, a step in and a jump, or a step out, step in, jump in, jump out, whatever it is, 21 of each, 15 of each, 9 of each, as fast as humanly possible. Let's go.